my Govanen folks. Yeah, that is that is quite an interesting integral. We have the integral from negative to positive infinity of e to the minus e to the x times x squared times e to the 2x dx. Okay, cool. So how or where exactly do we begin? Well, we have lots of exponential functions, so we might as well begin by letting e to the x equal t, which implies that e to the x dx equals dt. And we have one of those. I mean, this thing is the integral from negative to positive infinity of e to the minus e to the x, x squared, e to the x, e to the x, dx. And this, of course, implies that x is equal to log t. So as, you know what, we don't even need that. Oh, wait, we do. We do have an x term over there. But for the limits of integration, we can just transform them using this equation. So as x approaches negative infinity, we have e to the x approaching 0. And as x approaches infinity, we have t approaching positive infinity. Okay, cool. So i is now the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus t times x squared, which is log t squared or log squared t, times e to the x, which is t, and e to the x dx is just dt. Okay, so this is... This is interesting. We got t here, we got e to the minus t, and we got log squared t. So a polynomial function, a monomial that is t, an exponential function, and a logarithm. How do we evaluate this? Well, long-time viewers of the channel know that I love the gamma function. And the gamma function is perfect here, because gamma s is defined as the integral from 0 to infinity, of t to the s minus 1 times e to the minus t dt. And because the dummy variable is arbitrary, I'll just work in the x realm again. So I'll have x to the s minus 1 times e to the minus x dx. So if we differentiate this thing with respect to s, we have gamma prime s equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the partial derivative with respect to s on differentiating the integration and differentiation operators, of course, of x to the s minus 1 times e to the minus x dx. So this translates to integral 0 to infinity, e to the minus x, x to the s minus 1 times log x dx. And we need one more logarithm to make the cut. So this implies the gamma double prime of s equals integral 0 to infinity, e to the minus x, x to the s minus 1, and we have log x, but differentiating this term again gives us another log. So we have log square x dx. So it's clear that our target integral just requires the exponent of t or x to be equal to 1. And we get that when s equals 2. So our target integral is in fact the second derivative of the gamma function at s equal to 2. Okay, cool. So we do have a plan. And now all we need is the second derivative. Well, we'll invoke the digamma function because, I mean, why not? So digamma of s is defined as the derivative with respect to s of log gamma s. So this thing equals gamma prime s over s, which implies that gamma prime s equals di gamma s times gamma s. And we could differentiate this thing again to get gamma double prime. So we have gamma double prime of s equal to the derivative of the di gamma function is the tri gamma function, which we write as psi 1. So we have psi 1 of s, gamma s, plus psi of s, gamma prime s on invoking the product rule of differentiation. So for gamma double prime at 2, all we need is the tri gamma function at 2, gamma of 2 plus di gamma of 2, and gamma prime of 2. Now gamma of 2 equals 1 factorial, which is 1. And gamma prime of 2, rather, wait, I'll work with this digamma function. 
So di gamma of 2 equals gamma prime at 2 over gamma 2. We just saw that gamma 2 is 1, so that means we have gamma prime at 2. So that means gamma double prime at 2 equals tri gamma function at 2 plus gamma prime of 2 squared. So all we have to do is evaluate these two, well, these two really cool things. So what on earth is gamma prime at 2? For that, you can refer to the merchandise. I mean, why not? Or we could just work it out. Gamma prime at 1 equals the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus x times log x dx. And this is the integral representation of the euler mascheroni constant, rather negative euler mascheroni constant. Now, what about gamma prime at 2? Well, for that, we could make use of the recursion formula, where gamma z plus 1 equals z times gamma z. So this implies that gamma prime z plus 1 equals gamma z plus z times gamma prime at z. So if we let z equal to 1, we have gamma prime at 2 equal to gamma 2 plus, terribly sorry about that, 1 times negative Euler mascheroni constant. We just saw that gamma of 2 equals 1, so gamma prime of 2 equals 1 minus Euler mascheroni constant. So that's one box checked. Now what about tri gamma of 2? That's an interesting problem. For that, we'll once again reference the di gamma function, but this time it's series representation. We have di gamma z plus 1 equal to negative order mascheroni constant plus the sum over k from 1 to infinity of 1 over k minus 1 over k plus z. So all we need to do is differentiate this thing with respect to z yielding on the right hand side the sum over k from 1 to infinity derivative of 1 over k is 0 and the derivative of this thing over here would be 1 over k plus z whole thing squared. So all we need to do is let z here equal to 1 and we have tri gamma of 2 equal to the sum over k from 1 to infinity of 1 over k plus 1 squared and if we let k plus 1 equal to n that means we have tri gamma of 2 equal to the sum terribly sorry about that over n from 1 to infinity of rather sum over n from 2 to infinity of 1 over n squared okay cool but wait that's just the sum over n from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared minus the 1 over 1 squared term and this thing over here is the famous Basel problem which equals pi squared over 6 shout out to Euler so we have tri gamma of 2 quite beautifully equaling pi squared over 6 and now it's time to piece everything together so gamma double prime at 2 which is in fact our target integral, sorts out to exactly pi squared over 6 minus 1 plus that square of the, of the derivative of the gamma function at 2, so that's 1 minus gamma squared. So this equals pi squared over 6 minus 1 plus 1 plus gamma squared minus 2 gamma. Immediately we see the cancellation happening here, which implies that this really crazy looking integral that is the integral from negative to positive infinity of x squared times e to the 2x times e to the minus e to the x dx equals gamma squared minus 2 gamma plus pi squared over 6. I know in some of my videos, the order mascheroni constant just vanishes, and that is sort of a disappointing sight, but this is not, it's not that case today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.